I didn't know that it, it was a violation. Yes. I did not know. So it, it became is, that way. Is there any other work that, that I'm, I'm up to court, to sir. I'm up to court with everything. And uh, you're welcome to check with law enforcement because they turned me in. So, so this, is, this is the only issue? Yeah, that's the only issue pending, and that's why it's in variance. Everything else that they had mentioned was a cop taking care of. So I, I have a suggestion for, for a position for us, and that is that we uh, we send a letter to city planning asking them to uh, to, you know, to look into the possibility of uh, whether having the gate at the, I think this is what you said, at the edge of the house, so it's just covering the, the driveway and the main entrance right. to the house, yeah. as opposed to You may to change your mind when I no, explain. Hang on a minute. Yeah. When, I have, so, when I converse, if you give me all five minutes or three minutes per I, minute, you we, may change your mind we, on that. We, we can't make a determination on that, it's for the city, so we're just, we're just offering this to the city, and they may look at it and say, it makes no sense. And you'll have the opportunity to have that discussion with them. But so I'd this love is to just clarify to make sure that the they issue for all of you. If I'm given opportunity privately, absolutely. Any any question privately, I mean. Okay, guys, hang, hang on. I, so that's my thought. Is we we suggest that that they at least look that's into right. that okay. as an alternative. And then Maria, you had a point about I I forgot what the other point was. Uh, there was moving. Uh, Possibly moving the fence back, and uh, does that have to be quite that tall? I well, that uh, they'll. I, I well, they, they that's kind of an obvious one. I think they'll 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 delve into that. But um, well, can so we make yeah, that we recommendation can, that we can, can just be, it can be actually <clears throat> um, it doesn't have to be quite that tall, and and like John suggested, moving it closer to the door so it doesn't block the driveways from the other neighbors who are walking? Yeah, oh, the mirror, I'm sorry. And the, the mirror the, also. The that possibility of installing a mirror. Yeah. So I, so I think I think we can, yeah. we could send a letter to them and say, look at the possibility of having the gate block the driveway. Oh, you could say the, she agreed to the mirror. The you fence, could say I agreed then, to the mirror. I, I agreed to the mirror. You could say she agreed to the yeah, mirror. Yeah, well, if, if, again, depending on the outcome of it. No, I that's understand, a, but that's I mean, I'm, I'm okay with the mirror. And so if they're able to utilize it, she could flip it both sides of the side here is used to balance the, so the, okay. rest, the rest that could come up what well, yeah. cut, cut the other side and go down the side that way the my problem is, is that I, I think this is fairly cut and dry you guys can come up with all these suggestions and everything else you want to make but because of the height of the fence and the side, the side yards it negates the reasonable accommodation issue and you can fiddle around with all this other kind of stuff any way you want, but it negates the reasonable accommodation. It's not providing what the reasonable accommodation is supposed to provide. That's cut and dry. And you guys are dancing around trying to figure out, well, if she does this, if she does that. Well, hey, you know what? If she removes the fence, that will take care of it too. Well, There's a disability so act, federal and state that. We need to bring this to a close, so do I have a motion? Yeah, I make a motion that John the was, that the reasonable accommodation Eric, be denied. John was speaking before you. John, go ahead. Just that the city consider looking at moving the gate back to the edge of the house and you know, using some of that gate on the side to provide the security that's necessary after they determine if that will qualify for the reasonable accommodation. It won't. Okay, do I have a second? No. No, I'll second it. Yeah, and I'd like to make an amendment to that motion. Um, given that it shall need all federal and state, um, you know, disability. There is no federal requirement. on it. Okay, so state um, requirements. There is no state okay. requirement well, on it either. Well, whatever, whatever there is. We'll just call it federal or state. I mean, I know there's a federal disability act. So how about all government? All government. Actually, there's federal and state disability acts. Yeah, yeah. we'll just say government to cover it all. Okay, so can I have a second on that? I'll second that. Okay. All right. So, and and the amendment. All in favor? Okay. Three. All opposed. Two. All right. The amendment holds. So our our motion is a letter to city planning. To ask uh, or to ask them to consider whether moving uh, 
relocating the fence back alongside the, you know, basically in the driveway at the edge of the house. And this goes right? to the board. I will object vehemently. Okay. And let them know why. And I think they will agree with me. I think you're trying to be overly accommodating for something that won't happen because even if you try to put this on the side, it means she has to buy more fence in order to do that. She's not going to do we that. Eric, let's, uh, we're, we're back to the, the motion to send them a letter to. But you're negating the reasonable accommodation clause, which says she wanted it because she said she wanted Eric, to keep him safe. Eric, and, and, and you're not doing that for the neighbors. How about their safety? You're, you're negating the fact that the reasonable accommodation is negated by the fact that the fence does not surround the whole property. Okay, uh, feel free to vote your position on the motion. So uh, the motion is to send a letter asking them to consider locating the fence at the edge of the, across the driveway at the edge of the house. And if they don't with, do that? With um, Cindy's addition that it meet all governmental requirements. Governmental okay. requirements require it to be three feet five inches. That's the government requirement. Not if the no. not if the REO is granted. Not if it's moved back. Okay. Can I? Can we take a vote on this? Oh, we no, we, we took a vote on the amendment. Okay. Oh, vote on the main motion. Okay. okay. All in favor? Aye. Opposed. Okay. Three to two. So that passes. Um, Eric, did you have? Do you have? motion you want to present? Yeah, my motion would be to rescind this reasonable accommodation. It does not meet the standards of the reasonable accommodation she quoted to us. It doesn't even come close. And the fence is not five feet eight inches. I know that fence okay. is not five feet eight inches. It's over six feet. Okay, so your, your motion is to recommend denial of denial. the of yes. reasonable accommodation. Yes. And she talks about her house landing. My house is a, we, is a block away one block away, it's on the same plane, and my house slants too. Let me see if we have a second <coughs> on that. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay, seconded by Maria. Uh, yeah, go ahead, John. You know, the concern is, um, I don't know if you know, we're the ones that can make a reasonable accommodation request or not. The first addendum, merely said to the city to look at it to see if that would help satisfy. Yours is, this this amendment that you're making is that there is no reasonable request that can be made. And I don't know if we're in a position to have the facts or the details to make that. So that's why I have to oppose it. I'm just saying that the intent is a thing. But, but we, you know, reasonable accommodations, I just don't think it's something that, that we can that, that's something that the city and the doctor have to decide, not, not us. I mean, that's what but, doctor. But, but, but if they're coming, if they're coming to us for a, a, a variance, I think we have some input. Yeah, that we, we, we have to have a, a I think decision we have some input. to to negate what you're supposed to do. You reduce your responsibility because you don't know. Hey, we our job is to come to a determination on how we feel about this property. We're stakeholders in this area. These are stakeholders in this area. They have given their testimony on what they've seen, and the reasonable accommodation just does not hold in this case. It doesn't meet the intent. It doesn't meet the intent. I'd like to, to echo John's comments and also say that if, if we send a letter to city planning saying, we want you to reject this reasonable accommodation. Because, we, and state the reason right. why. The, the the reasons why will be paid attention to, but the recommendation to reject will basically be ignored because they have to go along. Then fine, it's fine. Then let that them go over it. But at least we put in our two cents. That's what we're supposed to do. That's what. That's the only thing that they're asked to do. I just have to, I just, I have to say this. Originally, the front of the house had a huge window. And it's lovely, but you put a sliding glass door there. It's not permitted. I'm not going to go into what no, I know. I like to no, I'm just saying also to that if the door was there, let's it's let, all permitted. Let's let, let her finish, please. And and just what I'm picking up, if it was for security purposes, you for you know the young man, if the window was still there, 
and the gate was in the driveway, she'd have all the security in the world. That's exactly how it would be. May I have a moment? May I have a moment for those who actually care to hear the reason? With a sliding glass door, and uh, and she did a beautiful job, you know, in the front with the landscaping. It appeared that she wanted to make that a private area, which I can appreciate. I do appreciate that, but it's in the front, and it just didn't work out, unfortunately, because of the different type of fencing. But she would have had her privacy had she just left the window. Well, the door and not a sliding door. door. Yeah. Right. It's the same size. So, Susan, it's address the, the board size. and not, yeah, yeah. <coughs> if you have something to add. But there's a difference between a window and a door. A door, right. you open right. the window. Right, we, <coughs> um, we understand that. Thank you. So when I designed that door, when I started construction, I did not realize the problem, the medical problem I have in hand. And again, if anybody's willing to hear because there is a medical condition, and if anyone cares enough about someone, please take a moment, and I will clarify it, but I'm not about to clarify it to someone who may butcher the situation further and get picked on Sorry. heavier. There you know, is a I, reason why there's a medical privacy. I'm willing to share that with you. You know, I, I've read the documents. No, you excuse didn't. Me, you excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me cut say what off. I want to say. You read the Eric, doctor's you note. Off. All right, will you let her finish? She's you been read, talking. You it's read Eric. the doctor's note. What I'm willing to do is give you the condition that's what makes me talk this. I'll give you more details if you're willing to hear, if you're willing to have an open mind, but if you don't care, then there's no point of me talking. But you seem to have some questions. It's not about a door or a window. I'm willing to discuss further, but I'm not willing to discuss medical condition in front of the public. You know, I'm willing to clarify, no exception, every single question you may have privately, if you need two to three minutes of my time. Well, I'm look, not gonna look. go into detail of why this actually has taken place. Okay, I understand. Okay, so let me say clear. what I wanna say, please. Your medical situation is a red herring as far as I'm concerned. It's what? It's a red herring. Oh, my God. It's a red herring. It is an excuse.